This is your Utica Comets pregame show with Eyewitness News Sports Director David Edelstein. Utica Comets face off. Utica Comets play their final home game of the season tonight. Good evening, I'm David Edelstein and welcome again to Comets face off. It's not just the final home game of the year, but also the final Utica Comets home game as the Vancouver Canucks affiliate. It's the Rochester Americans who are in the city tonight and finally some fresh faces after Utica played the Syracuse Crunch for the fifth of five games in a row on Wednesday. Also the 14th and final time this season that those two teams faced off. We've seen a lot of high scoring games this year, especially against Syracuse. Wednesday, there was no score heading into the third period though and there Nolan Stevens opens scoring five minutes into the third frame with a feed from Lucas Yasek who's on a six game point streak. 10 minutes later, Syracuse pulls goalie Spencer Martin, who had 28 saves, trying to tie the game, but turned around and Nikita Alexandrov gets the empty netter, his third goal in his first four AHL games. And Comets goalie Joel Hofer had an assist credited to him on that. Then back to the five on five a minute and a half later, and Stevens is waiting. He's going in toward the net, and he gets the puck on the wraparound and puts it in the corner. Three nothing Comets, that's the final score. Hofer also had 26 saves in the shutout. The Comets end the season series with the Crunch 7-7, seven and seven, but Syracuse gets 16 points off the series with two overtime losses. Utica gets 14 points off the Syracuse, and the Comets would have a 625 points percentage if they win all three remaining games, possibly good enough for third place in the North Division standing. Against each other this season, Utica has the advantage over Rochester, who they're playing tonight. Both teams have been outscored this season, though. Rochester power plays the best in the league by points percentage, however, but the Americans' penalty kill is worst in the league by percentage. Utica's in the top 10 for man advantage and bottom 10 for PK. So power plays might be the key tonight. The Comets are still without their offensive leader, Jonah Gajevic, as he's up with the Canucks looking for an opportunity. Lucas Jasek takes over as the Comets' points leader now. He's on a six-game point streak, like we said. That includes two goals and six assists in the span. And after a big two-goal night on Wednesday, including the game winner, Nolan Stevens, now the Comets' scoring leader, Yasek and Sam Annis lead the team in assists, a category that Annis led the entire league in last year. Annis also leading in points per game and Berchi putting the puck on net. For the Americans, Brett Murray leads in points. Ian Remielli both lead in goals. Rookie Oscar Ilaxanen leads in assists with Murray right behind him with 10. And John Sebastian Day has been reassigned to the Americans now, so he's the leader in points per game again. Michael Mersch leads in shots. So we're looking forward to seeing those names in action tonight. After the break, we're going to be joined by the man of the hour, Utica Comets head coach Trent Cole himself, joining us right here to reflect on his past four years in Utica. Stay tuned. 